back to lake fishing with the top water uh, hula popper. I'm here with Kevin. No, I don't see. And it's like hard to get the camera right when I'm fishing topwater because it's got to look straight ahead and I always like curve. I need to keep my body straight. <laughs> Boom! Got him on the top water. <laughs> it's a nice looking bass. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Easy. Nice. Please don't freak out and hook me. <laughs> okay. I was just taking a Boom, look. there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Second cast. Jeez. I told you, dude, they're like really aggressive right now. I uh, gotta grab my there? forceps to unhook him. Back yeah. in that corner, I caught a crap. Ow. Oh, he unhooked himself. You know what? That buddy. Yeah. Good looking fish. <laughs> Good looking fish, partner. Exactly. Turn him loose. All right, the, uh, I'm gonna put my pliers here. in my pocket to start unhooking him. This is Kevin. What's up, guys? You guys remember him from uh, the two year video? And a bunch of other videos. We've fished with Kevin before here on the channel. <clears throat> We're fishing for bass and crappie today. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. This is my first year catching a lot of fish on top water. I've never had luck really? throwing top water before. Wow. So this is the first time I've had a lot of luck with it. That's good. I know. That's, That's like when, I, when we get an apex and we, we hit into achievement. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like, like wow. it feels good when you learn a new skill and you're able to use it properly because I've never really had a lot of luck throwing top water and this is the first year I've been like going to town on them with it. It doesn't help that uh, my understanding is the hula poppers. Oh, don't move, don't move. I'm not. <laughs> it's just your shirt. Oh. Oh, thank gosh. I, 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 <laughs> I felt it. I know you felt I it. I was like, wet. I was like, what is it? Did you smack me with a fish? <laughs> that was not a fish, that was my bait. Alright, you still gotta hold still because I can't get the second hook out. Uh, no worries, but uh, I was getting bobs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, when you hit me, I was like... Oh, oh yeah, oh. You're, you're getting bobbed. Do not hook set. Dude, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, just hook set it. It's out. Hook set. <laughs> That fish, he came up, he grabbed it. I hooked it a little did. too he early. Did. He it. <laughs> he grabbed it. Oh man, it. I screwed both of us up. That was a bad hook set for me, and I messed up your hook set. That's that's hurtful. I was like, what's wet? Why is it wet? <laughs> You're like, why is it wet? And what smacked me in the back? I, dude, I was expecting like this freaking bass to like, just be like flopping around behind me. Boom, there's another one. Top water has been great this year. Another little guy. What was I saying about the hula popper? Oh yeah, this is like the tried and true top water bait. Is the hula popper. Like, this is the classic. At least that's my understanding of it. I don't throw a lot of top water. 
like I've said three times now, keep repeating myself. I keep getting distracted by the fish and then I like repeat myself. And there we go. Another nice looking fish. A little small, no big deal. It's like you give them a couple pops, you stop and they're on it. Because that was the other thing that I was kind of messing up was not pausing enough. And I learned that you got to pause sometimes. And that was all she wrote. I know they're they've been nuts on this pond it's just it's the right time of year for them dang your drag like was ripping there for a second. Thought she had like a monster on. I was like, there's no wind. Let me just, I'll take my glasses off. And trick it screwing around. That's the stuff they don't freaking tell you when you're throwing out hair. <laughs> Dealing with it. Dealing with it blowing in your face. Yeah, I used to have long hair. I mean, my hair's not as long as your hair, but... Yeah. There was a while there, my bangs came down past my nose. Oh! Yeah, I, I, I've been sucking at freaking hook setting. I was like beyond late on that one. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, I, I have to get back to the group. Because the last time we fished, literally, I got one time. And it wasn't even like a definite. I, Oh, that blue, little bluegill. He tried. Oh, that was inadequate. You can tell I'm new to the art of uh, throwing topwater poppers and stuff. Timing, never heard of her.
Kevin's getting hit behind me. He just went, oh. There we go. Oh, this feels like a good one. Maybe. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but I can't complain. <laughs> Going from pretty much never catching fish top water to catching fish, I'm not complaining about that. Throw a worm, they'll eat the worms. Oh. <laughs> those carp will absolutely eat those worms so you might be in for the fight of your life buddy <laughs> I think I've ever, I, I'm pretty sure I've never caught a carp pound for pound carp are like some of the hardest fighting freshwater fish it's ridiculous I love catching carp funny because I went back to back with catfish all the time uh -huh. um, and they're tough but I've never caught a carp like there was one night where I caught I think it was like four or five catfish uh -huh. I think the biggest one being was like 12 13 pounds it's pretty big yeah that's not bad the smallest one was like five but still I was like, hey, five in one day like I mean if you're like, fishing for like channel night, cats and stuff yeah hot summer night though so Come on, I want to blow up like right off the dock. That's that's what I'm asking for. Yeah, my cousin. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He it was his it was his 13th birthday party. <laughs> it was his or 14th, I think. It was his 13th or 14th, but we went to paradise and we I was just snagging. And then all of a sudden, once it hit like six o'clock. Right over there, I'll that down Right in the weeds. <laughs> it proceeds to hit the very... Uh, See, I'll, I have a bad habit of like, throwing right on the bank. Which is great for like, the other frogs. But the hula popper has treble hooks on it, so they don't take too kindly to being thrown in the weeds. Just, I'm like so in the habit of chucking frogs at the weeds. But like the regular frogs, the ones I have, they aren't broken in. So they're like too hard and I can't get a nice cast. I can't get, can't get a good hook set with them. What, you're going to work over towards the corner? I think I'm gonna switch over from top water now. I'm gonna call this the end of this video. Uh, you know what, one more cast, just for good measures. I changed my mind. <laughs> one more cast for good measures.
but yeah, this has been kind of me learning to fish top water properly and catching fish on frogs. So, if you guys have enjoyed watching me learn, and who knows, maybe you're learning something from me. I don't know. I think the worm's too, like, because it was dead. Anyway. There was a carp of the eye and it kept it. Thanks for watching. Peace.